When I quit my nine to five, I wish I had someone to talk to. I wish I had someone to relate to, to get me through that hiccup. Cause it was, when I decided to quit my job, it was very hard. I didn't know if that's something that I wanted to go through with. No one else that I knew or were related to had, you know, just quit their job and took this huge leap of faith. You know, that was actually an adult that had adult biz, adult, bills had car notes rent things like that so i was nervous especially because i didn't have this huge savings i didn't have this huge income to live off of when i did decide to quit my job so i was like scared <laughs> so i'm here to let you guys know my thoughts and my opinions on when you should quit your nine to five before we start, I do have a webinar coming up March 3rd and it's all about, yikes, it's all about how to start a hair company. You get a vendor included. You actually get one of my Allure 96 vendors. Um, so if you are interested in attending that webinar, check the description box. Tickets will be right below. If you did purchase a ticket, you will get the replay. So there is going to be a replay available for those who've purchased tickets but i hope to see each and every one of you there so when i quit a lot of you guys may know some some of you guys may know some of you guys may not know but i was working at a fast food restaurant i was a general manager i was working mad hours like i was working crazy crazy hours every week i was a gm so i had to deal with it was my store basically so anything that went wrong it was on me if someone didn't show up it was on me i had to go work additional shifts that were out of my schedule if someone else didn't show up like it was just a lot and i was so done <laughs> i was so over it i was tired of it didn't want to do it and one day came and i was just like i'm done but before we get to that point uh if you are in a situation where you're just tired and you're over it and you're over your bosses and you're over your superiors um and you don't want anyone talking down on you anymore or you personally feel like your corporate america job is hindering you from being even more successful or hindering you from making even more money you want to listen to this information okay so I want to be clear on something there's never a right time to quit your job you're never going to have enough savings you're never going to have enough support you're never going to just wake up and it's just going to be the special day and on the special day you just quit your job that is not how it works when you quit your job it's all psychological and the reason i say that is because when you do quit your job especially 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 if you have a family to feed your jobs giving you health benefits you really want to think about it you really want to make sure you're mentally prepared to leave this situation to try and start something new and another thing when you do decide to leave your nine to five job you need to have a plan i would never say to anyone open up a business a month into opening up your business just quit your job no you need to be able to somehow guarantee that your business will be able to support you when i quit my job allure 96 wasn't booming how it is now now it's booming because i can put the energy and i can put the time behind it now i can pay all of my bills live comfortably because i'm I, i'm able to put all of this time behind it at first i was not able to i was able to put maybe a few hours a day into my business but two and three hours here and there is not going to cut it it's not going to boost your business to this hundred thousand dollar business if you're just putting two or three hours a day into it when you are a business owner and you legit live off of the money that you make for your business this is an all-day job now cool thing about it is when you do work for yourself you can choose your schedule if i don't want to work a certain day i don't have to but if i don't work i don't make money so just keep that in mind so when you do decide to quit, it's not all peaches and cream, but when you do decide to quit, you need to make sure that your business can elevate you. Another way 
you can determine when it's time to quit your nine to five job is when you're tired. And that sounds really crazy, but when you're so over something and you're so tired of something and it's not making you happy anymore, it's time to let that situation go. But that goes with anything in life, not just quitting your nine to five to start your own business. When you're physically not happy and you're waking up not happy, it does something to you. It, it does something to your brain. It does something to you. Psychologically, it does something to you. So when that situation does happen, it's you as an adult, you have to make that decision. Is this, will I still be okay if I leave this job? Now, something that I strongly recommend is you to start a business and start get your business at least off the ground. And then start thinking about quitting your job if you're in the beginning stages of opening up a business quitting your job should be the very last thought and the reason i say that is because right now you don't even have enough income to support extracurriculum stuff in your life so that's not really an option for you at this particular point not saying it'll never be an option but right now that's not something that works for you but let's say you have a business going it's semi off the ground. You're making consistent sales for about maybe two, three months. That's on the low end. Then I would say start the thought process of quitting. Start the thought process of what would this be like if I did this 24-7, 365 days out the year? What would this be like? That's when you can start thinking like that. But once you're tired of your nine to five job, that's when you would put the the fire underneath your ass to do what you have to do as far as busting your ass at a nine to five job and then striving for greatness with your own personal business part time something that hindered me I probably would have quit sooner if it wasn't for my mother my um my mom is very traditional she's all about bill she's all about She's all about making sure you can afford things. Don't do something if you're going to regret it, things like that. So every time I even gave the thought, uh, gave her my thoughts on quitting my job, she kind of like shut me down, which made me procrastinate on quitting my job. But one day I couldn't take it anymore. And I was just, I told my superior or my higher up that I was just done. And I called her, I cried <laughs> and I said, I'm done. So when you do get to that point and your business is a little off the ground it's you're making some consistent sales that can get you by you have a little bit of savings don't tell anyone what you're going to do tell everyone that you're going on a little vacation that's something that i kind of done kind of did before i quit a lot of you guys may not know but december of 2017 i had a major surgery so i took a full month off of work and because I wasn't smart and I didn't save my vacation days, the paid vacation days, I only got paid for a week out of that month. So that other two and a half, three weeks, I didn't receive a check or any form of benefits. So for me, that was kind of like a mini trial because I was able to live comfortably. I was fine after surgery. Um, I didn't miss that check that I missed. I remember going back to work I dreaded it. I cried going back to work. <laughs> and then three months later, that's when I made the decision that I wanted to quit. So I bet the biggest question you guys probably have is, did you have money saved up? Like, where, like, how did you pay your rent? <laughs> you know, like questions like that. And yes, I had down, once I started my business, I opened up a savings and I did have money saved in my account. Now, when through studies and through the studies that I have researched, they the studies say before you quit your job, you need to at least have, have six months of your rent, of your car note, all that stuff in your savings, which I agree to a certain extent. If you are weary about your business and you don't really know if it's going to thrive or fail, save that money. But if you are confident in your business and you have some savings, but it's probably not exactly where you want it to be, I would say take that leap of faith. If it wasn't for me taking my leap of faith for my business, I would still be miserable. I would still be a GM. And I would probably 
like be exhausted and just tired every day and hate waking up and going to work because that's the point that it was coming to but before it got all the way to that point that's when I just removed myself out of the situation and focused on what I wanted to focus on and what I personally feel like was my is my purpose here so yes save as much as you could so if you like I said if your business is off the ground and this is a thought process that you're currently having start saving now all the money that you make just throw it in your savings and leave it and don't touch it so when you wake up that day and you're like I can't deal with this anymore I can't deal with this boss anymore I can't make it to work anymore a lot of a lot of people think that these jobs is your are your holy grail when that is not true many many people lose their jobs every single day many people get laid off every single day without a warning without a notice so stop putting all of your eggs inside of the baskets of these jobs because these jobs and honestly can die out any single second of every single day so don't look at your job as your lifeline or your life support yes that's how you're currently making money but no, that's probably not how you're forever going to be making money. But it's up to you to have that faith, to believe that you you can reach for the stars and go for it. But I don't want to talk you guys' ears off too long. This was just like a nice little chit chat that I enjoyed having with you guys. But yes, I love each and all, each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. If you guys do need to chat about something, you're more than welcome to shoot me an email. And also, I hope to see many of you guys at the webinar March 3rd. I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!